this is my 3D printed gearbox. Uh, the out gears, obviously, and uh, like I said, the differential gear inside here aren't 3D printed, but all the other gears are. So the two, the two in, inside gears here, uh, the spur and the pinion are all 3D printed. Uh, this shaft and the other, the other shaft on the inside for the the idler gear are uh, made out of uh, M3 tool steel. Um, again, I, I uh, put the thread in on this by hand, so it's a bit of a slipper arrangement. Um, the differential gear, the out gears, and this silver can come out of a Tamiya uh, M05 model, uh, specifically the Mini Cooper model, which was the least expensive one at my local hobby shop. Um, I was looking at putting together just the pieces that I needed, just the pieces that I needed uh, to uh, finish a new car, and I was coming up to a number that was way over what it cost me to buy a full model and just take the little pieces that I needed out of it. Even even though it is quite quite successful to 3D print this, uh, there was a lot of fiddly little detail on the inside that uh, you know I needed to shave a couple of teeth down. I, I, I you know I, I needed to run it in a bit to 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 wear the gears down a little bit to the point where it was running smoothly so it didn't cog and bind. Um, but I'll I'll go through that. But uh, I'll open this up. Uh, when I want, I haven't lubricated this gearbox yet. I, I was, I was waiting for it to sort of break in before I did that. Um, you don't want to prematurely wear your gears, that's why you lubricate them. But in this case, I actually wanted the the lubrication, or rather, I wanted the wear, not the to lube it up right away, to wear down some of those. Uh, some of those striations that you get from from 3D printing, and uh, the the right now it's it's nice. It's at a point where it's smooth, but it's still tight. Uh, the the teeth are still meshing, and now I'm at the point where I do actually want to lubricate it. Uh, this motor was also out of the uh, the, the the Tamiya kit, uh, as is the motor on my first car. This is actually the motor out of my first ever. Uh, RC car. Uh, this, mo this motor comes out of a uh, 1986 Tamiya Boomerang, so it's now 31 years old. And so I promised uh, that I would show the gearbox off uh, when I lubricated it. Uh, I found my Tamiya grease. Uh, so I'll start the process of taking this apart. So hopefully there it comes. So there's the gearbox. Uh, fairly simple. Uh, two a reduction gear and idler gear, and then finally the differential. And like I said, this differential is uh, is is a is a kit differential. Um, I'm gonna blow it off. Uh, collect some of the the dirt. Oh. Uh, <laughs> My, my pin uh, stayed with the other half of the gearbox and there you can see a nice good shot of the uh, ball bearings. Um, I, 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 I am using ball bearings, um, so uh, they're, it, 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 I, I thought that a three millimeter pin here would, uh, would wear the plastic much more than, than, a, uh, than the eight millimeter ball bearing especially on the the input here on the uh, on the reduction side um, so as you can see this gear is 3d printed it has a pocket and there's the other side of the ball bearing uh, the reason I did this with the idler gear is that because this is not going to be on the shaft um, it, it, it doesn't require it's not required to transmit any power I, I did this with the shaft. I put the uh, 
I, I put I, I put the ball bearing inside the gear so that the gear runs more freely um, and that the shaft won't turn and wear a hole in the gearbox. Whereas I couldn't do it with this one, um, and I can't I can't remove this one so easily uh, because it is actually if you can see here, we can turn it um, there. You can see the the little worm, uh, the little grub screw in there that holds it, and there's another one on the other side that holds it to the shaft. Uh, originally I made these an M3 grub screw, but the, the holding power just wasn't there, so I upsized them to a an M4, like, and this is what I'm talking about, some of the fiddly stuff that I didn't figure out. And um, what I did also was I uh, used a little file on, on the shaft to file a flat on one side uh, where the screw, grub screw would go into uh, and, and, and not allow this gear to turn except with the shaft. So. Here's our very yucky Tamiya grease. And we'll put that there off camera. And, and you can see that there are some little, I don't know if you can see, but there is a little bit of black where the, the, the PLA gears have worn a little bit. And like I said, I, I, I was running this gearbox, uh, just hooked it directly, the, the motor directly to a battery for about 30 seconds at a time, you know, forward and backwards, uh, just to knock off some of the rougher edges on, on, the, uh, on the printed gears. Uh, I think it's done its job nicely, so I'm just, and uh, I'm happy with it, so we're just gonna put some globules of grease, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm doing this gear specifically because this gear has 39 teeth and the other two gears both have 16 so this gear will distribute the the grease much more effectively than if I put it on the other two. Uh, it, so, it just so happens that apparently Tamiya uses a 0.8 millimeter modulus on their gears. So that worked out extremely well and uh, it meshed beautifully uh, first time. So you can see here it's you know, it's kind of weird and where you know, it's gonna pick up the grease and a little bit more, a little bit less. You can see it's starting to build up. So we'll actually we'll put the gears in this side. Whoop, there goes the other out shaft, the other out drive. We can move these over. Starting to get a little bit trickier to move because my fingers are greasy. So I'll pop that in there, in between uh, the other two gears that are in place. And oh, uh, this one's going to be a little tricky now because the outdrives are gone. So there's nothing really riding on. This isn't really riding on a shaft, so it's wobbly. So there we go. The outdrives in. And of course, it's also driving the, the motor as well now. So we'll put a little bit more grease on this one and run it through. You can actually turn the spur. And it's, oh, it's a lot quiet. I can tell it's a lot quieter even now just with this little bit of grease in. Just a little bit of lubrication and uh, the gearbox is a lot less chattery.